Hi, I'm Jim, and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. I have got a bunch of emails and questions on these drivetrains where the last one I got, um, my viewer said he completely tore apart the drivetrain, and he sent me pictures of it. And he said, I can't find anything wrong but when I get out in the yard, it won't go anywhere. It, it was mowing fine. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he said, all of a sudden, it just quit moving. I thought I heard something snap, but I'm not sure. You know, he got the engine running. And he said, it just stopped. So he says, I, I was sure I broke a chain or a gear. And... Uh, he shoved it back in his garage and tore it apart. He sent me pictures of everything. He had it all tore apart and cleaned. And there was nothing wrong with anything. So I want to show you the first thing to check before you tear your machine apart. Because after he... Uh, wrote me back and forth a couple times, he said, I'm just lost. I said check something for me and he emailed me back and he said that's what it was um, so I want you to check yours if this happens to you the first thing I want you to check stand the machine up and try to turn the tires if your drivetrain is working properly, if you turn this tire with it standing up, that tire will turn in the opposite direction. Regardless of which way you turn this tire, the other one is going to turn the opposite way. You want to make yourself a little three inch piece of wood and open your clutch up or your pull down on your yoke, whatever you want to do. If you have a clutch pedal, I don't. You can put a clamp on it and clamp it open. I just use this little block of wood back in there and it holds the yoke open. If you shift it into neutral or park, your chain case is going to swing down up against this. Kind of looks like a ball. And this is going to go up against your clutch disc, and that's going to lock it up. That's your parking brake. So you want to make sure you swing this chain, your yoke, down so your chain case isn't hitting that. You can grab one of these nuts and turn this. And everything, if you're turning this and everything is turning... All you can see on your machine are your tires. Everything in here is probably fine. What you want to check is this little culprit right here. This is probably a $3 bolt. Why they use the tapered heads? I guess so they only need one wrench because they really lock in sometimes. The way a differential works on these machines when you're cruising across your yard mowing, going straight, you have what they would call positive track. Both tires are going to be pushing you or pulling you, depending on your direction, at the same time. Now when you turn a corner, because you have a differential in here, one tire is going to slow down. The other tire is going to get more power. And it's going to go faster. That's how your differential works. When you turn a sharp corner, this tire may totally quit turning, and all the power is going to go to this side. Now, when one of these bolts break, your differential is going to think you're turning a corner. Now, I don't know if you can see this shaft or not when it's turning. I wish I had a piece of tape or something to put on it. 
Uh, let me get one. Okay, <clears throat> now if you're going across your yard, if you have pressure on both tires, if your machine is sitting down on all four tires, let me get my switch down here where I can get to it. This one is going to quit, and this one will quit turning. And that's going to, with this bolt broke, that's going to make your differential think you're turning a corner. It's going to stop sending power to the one that's not broke. I still have the bolt in this side. I do not in this side. So if you hold, you know, if I do this without getting in your way, we'll get it going and then I'm going to stop both tires from turning. Show you what I meant. As soon as that bolt breaks, you're going to stop going. Everything's going to keep turning, but you're not going to know that because this wheel flange is going to be covering up that axle unless it starts to slide off and your tire falls off on you. Because <laughs> I've had a few viewers that have called me up and told me that. Hey, my tire fell off. What's going on? Well, this little $3 bolt busted on them. And that's the only problem you have. So if you're going across your yard and something like that happens to you, please check these bolts first. Um, a lot of times the bolts will break and fall out. And you won't have a problem for a long time because the flanges are rusted on. But eventually, from stopping and taking off and backing up, you'll bust this flange loose, and then it's going to start slipping, and it's just going to stop moving, and you're going to swear you broke a chain or something. I mean, it's just not obvious that something this simple, this little busted bolt, could give you that much problems. But with a differential, that's how it works. If you didn't have this and you had positive traction all the time, a straight axle, you wouldn't have that problem. This bolt would break, that tire would keep driving until you turned a corner and this tire fell off. Because <laughs> it would happen. <laughs> so if you have that problem, please check that out before you go through all the time and expense to tear this thing down. I mean, you can put it all back together, but basically you're going to have to buy two new gaskets, one for the diff cover and one for the chain case cover. That's the only real expense you would have tearing this down. And if you order them from Parts Tree, you order a differential cover. The chain case cover comes with it. I didn't know that. When I bought them to rebuild mine, I ordered a cover or a gasket for the chain case and I ordered a gasket for the differential. I built this first, took the gasket out, put it in there, and that's cool. I went to put the differential together, took that gasket out, and how they stamp these, <coughs> the gasket for the chain case is inside of the gasket for the diff cover. And they just made them that way so they wouldn't waste so much material when they cut the gaskets. A little... I can't think of what I really want to say. Uh, Yankee ingenuity, I guess. A lot of people don't like that because they're not from this country. <clears throat> That's just a saying we have. So if you experience this problem where your machine just quits check that out check that first before you do anything else and uh, I'm sure if it did break you won't have a problem figuring it out if you stand your machine up grab the tire twist it a little and pull the side that's broke 
it's going to slide right off. These bolts, I see no reason why you couldn't use a standard bolt. Um, <clears throat> as long as you've got one big enough to fit in this hole so this doesn't chuck back and forth on a, an undersized bolt. But these aren't really all that expensive. Problem is, is when you buy this $3 bolt, you're going to pay about 6 or $7 shipping to get it. And they're different. The one on the differential side is different than the one on this side. They're, it's longer because the axle on the differential side is a larger diameter than this side is. So maybe, what the heck, if you have to order them and pay the shipping, I would buy a couple for each side and just throw them on my shelf. But hey, that's me. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> it really will help me someday. Um, I do have new shirt. This is one of the new shirts, the new logo. My secretary at work designed she uh, got rid of the part that said subscribe because this is the logo that's on my channel that supposedly you're supposed to touch that and it, it lets you subscribe. And that is free. Don't worry about having to pay to subscribe to any YouTube channel. Or um, the only thing it's going to ask you if you don't have a working email, it will ask you to set one up. And that is free. And the only reason they ask you to do that is because after you subscribe, behind that word, a little bell will appear. And if you touch that bell, you'll be notified every time I put on a new video. If you don't want to be bothered, don't touch the bell. You can shut it off. But that is all free, doesn't cost you a thing, and someday it will help me out if I get enough subscribers. So the shirts, uh, I'm going to sell them two different ways. I've got comments on both. Hey, I like it with, I don't like it with it. So we're going to go both ways. Uh, it'll either be like this, or it'll be this logo, and it'll say, Jim's fix-it shop across the top like my old shirt did um, I can order them one or two at a time <coughs> Excuse me <clears throat> Or I can order a hundred of them. I will order them as I sell them or as you order them and That way I don't have to put out a bunch of money to buy shirts She'll make them the same day. I order them and all I got to do is call her tell her which shirt I want. Uh, one will be, say, number one. One will be number two. The size I need, they're all going to be light gray. And uh, she'll make them up. I'll pick them up the next day on my way home from work and ship them out. I'm going to try to get them <clears throat> in this box. This is a Priority mailbox through the post office that only costs seven bucks and twenty cents to ship anywhere in the United States And it doesn't matter what it weighs. I ship a lot of parts in these if I can get them stuffed in The shirts will range in sizes. I have small medium large extra large 2x 3x 4x and 5x and the, the pricing, I have to find out first if I can get the large one, which be a 5X, in this box. <laughs> that I'm not too sure about. They don't say it has to be square or rectangular when you get it packed. If it's all bloated out and almost round, hey... <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> so I have to check with the post office and uh, see what we can do about that. I may stop down to the shirt store tomorrow 
and just grab a 5x and try to fold it up and get it in this box and see see what it looks like maybe i'll never sell one i don't know maybe i'll never sell any of them who knows but that's going to be another video when i get that figured out we'll we'll do a video just on shirts and I'll do a video just on flash drives because I have a lot of people that want to buy those. I'm working on it. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. So long.